Hello, everybody. Or oh, wait, no people to come in. I'm gonna get the light a little bit. There we go. Now I can see when people talk to me. Let me wash my hands. So Alan's out cutting grass and I decided I'd do a quick dinner. Hey Teresa. I thought I'd do a quick dinner. Something easy. I'm gonna do enchiladas. Let me grab my cheese. Enchilada sauce happen. Um, thank you for the stars, Teresa. Hey, y'all. Y'all come on in. Like I was saying, Alan's cutting grass, so I'm doing an easy dinner right now. I'm doing chicken enchiladas. The chicken, I already had it cooked in the freezer so all I had to do was cut a slit in the little pack and throw it in the microwave for about three or four minutes and the chicken was ready. The rice um, is just rice cooked with some taco seasoning to make like a Mexican rice and I know it's not authentic. Ain't none of this authentic but it's good. And it's easy. That's what we like. Easy. Alright. Get our rice or chicken. Do the chicken with. The already. Yeah, these are really easy. I just cooked that shredded chicken with the fajita mix. Do some uh, instant rice with some taco seasoning in it. And it makes things easy to make. Okay. A little bit. Of, I like a little sauce on the inside of them so they're not dry. Got to put some sauce in the bottom. I probably should put a little butter in the bottom. Too late now. 
We ain't starting over. No, I forgot to send notification that I was going live. I'm sorry. I forgot all about it. My helper's out there cutting grass, so I'm on my own. Hey, Helen. Okay, what did that say? Just had baked potatoes and tenderloin steaks. Man, that sounds good. I just weren't in the mood to cook a big dinner. So, I went for easy. These is nice sometimes. What you making? I'm making enchiladas. I should call them fake enchiladas because they're not uh, authentic. <laughs> But I guess as long as it feeds them and they ain't starving, it don't matter. Get folded up right. I have the hardest time with these things, getting them folded. Uh, make fried chicken tenders today. Those sound good too. Oh, I forgot the red sauce. It can go on top of the cheese. We don't care. What you doing? Making dinner. Oh, God. I think my problem is, is that I overstuffed them. But... My family don't care, as long as they can eat them. All right. Now, I'm doing mine in the keto wraps. Still putting, putting rice in them so it ain't diet, nothing, but I mean, it's better than having a regular wrap and um, rice too, so. And I only eat one tonight and save the other for lunch or something. So it don't have to be a whole lot of carbs. Chef baby. <laughs> okay. Last one. All right, now my grandson wants to make him a burrito because he doesn't want no enchilada, so he'll use the rest of that chicken. That's probably boss. Bet you are. Did you get all the grass cut? 
everything but that right hand side by the between the driveway and the woods and between Michael's shed and the road. Everything mm -hmm. but that little area. Got everything we okay. did. All the trees we needed, all that good stuff. We ain't gonna waste this ride. No, remember last time it was good that way. I just dump it in the side of the pan with it. Oh, you gotta find them so you can read it. Okay, good deal. Just let it hang out in some of that red sauce. Hang on, big boy, hang on. Now we're gonna pour this all over the top, so. Hey, y'all. Now let's cover them in some cheese. All right, so I used a, a whole pack of cheese, two cans of enchilada sauce, six wraps, the chicken, and the, the rice was one cup. Well, one cup of rice and one cup of water. So, you know, that swells up to make about two cups. And I'm going to stick them in a 350 degree oven for about 25 to 30 minutes. And that's going to be our easy peasy dinner. Like I said, it ain't diet. I've been trying to cut down on carbs, but I only eat one, and the only carbs that I really get from it are whatever's in the spoonful of rice and the, the cheese. I'm sure cheese has some carbs. Okay, let's see. Uh, Liz Delicious, they are good. They are so good. Alan and I usually will eat one for dinner and the next day have the other one for lunch. Hey, Sharon. Chicken spaghetti. Haven't tried that yet. I'm wondering if he would like it. I don't like spaghetti at all. Um, Darlene, we just did chicken enchiladas. What is his version of a burrito? My grandson? Um, chicken, lettuce, cheese. And sour a, cream. And a, no, Devin doesn't put sour cream on. Oh, yeah. Hot sauce, red sauce. Red sauce and a burrito wrap. I don't know why I don't like the enchiladas. They're so good. What all is in your chicken? Just the chicken and the fajita seasoning. Tomato sandwiches. Oh, I could have ate dinner at your house. Becky, I love me a tomato sandwich. The seasoning you use was it the regular kind you always get, or the kind of added off that day? The fajita seasoning is the regular seasoning. The real stuff. And there's just a little bit of taco seasoning goes into the rice. But it ain't that taco bell stuff, is it? No, it's the other. Yeah, to make the the rice, I just add a little bit of taco seasoning in it. Uh, thank you, um, Ruth. I love the tomato wraps. Those are so good. Yeah, I like the tomato and basil wraps by, um, LA Extreme Wellness. They make some good tomato and basil ones. And all of theirs, oh, I need to let the air out of it. All of theirs are keto friendly.
And I, these to me are actually softer than, I mean, these are, they're made by the same people. But to me, they're softer than the regular flour brew. They are. Thank you, Cookie. And they, oh, and they also have a, a spinach wrap. If y'all haven't tried Olay's Extreme Wellness, they're keto friendly and they have different flavors. They have a tomato and basil, the spinach, and I think there's one other. Um, I'm not sure. Sharon, I haven't had regular bread in a week. I'm cutting out breads and sweets. I'm not completely giving up carbs because, I mean, everybody knows carbs are the fuel for your body. But I'm giving up, I've already given up soda. I did that over the summer when I was sick with COVID. Yes, Jerry, they're wheat. Um, here, I'll show, I'll put these up close and show y'all. Oh, Holly, I gotta lose some weight, honey. I'm, my A1C's high and I'm overweight. Okay. Here they are. Y'all can see those. Keto certified. Monday. High fiber. And it tells you right here it's four net carbs per serving. Becky, as long as you don't lose too much weight. These are really, really good. I like to make like um Sandwich wraps with them with turkey and uh, turkey and cheese is really good. If I make a brie, anything like that, anything, you say. Um, and also, I got these. Y'all look at these tiny little bitty things, but they're good. This is the, um, Mission. I mean, they have them bigger, but these are the small ones. Yes, yeah, Sharon, I like to do lettuce wraps, too. Or what I call a lettuce boat sometimes with just the, um, romaine lettuce. These are good, too, y'all. I'm going to try deep frying those and see if, if they'll make chips because they're not like regular flour tortillas, but I'm going to try them. Hey, Miss Tina. Make my own pizza in the oven. I haven't tried doing that with those. Have you tried the egg wraps? No, I haven't tried egg wraps. Tammy, I talked to my doctor about um, Ozempic. Um, she said no. Because, um, well, my A1C was at 6.4. So that's right there at diabetic. But she wants me to bring it down with diet and exercise. And she said the first thing that they would put me on would be metfor the metformin. But um, she doesn't want to put me on Ozempic because she says I'm not so far overweight that I can't lose it on my own and she would rather I'd like do a lifestyle change rather than a shot so I don't know they're good Becky you should try them let me go back and see yes Miss Treats I opened the boxes thank you so much you could put them in the air fryer and make chips. I'll have to ch see about doing that. Uh, met 
uh, met, metformin is the first thing they put you on if you're type 2 diabetic. So she told me that would be the first, not Munjuro, metformin. Tammy, I'm going to try throwing some fasting in, too. All right, Miss Teresa, I'll make sure Michelle gets the bottles. Been off soda pop for two years. See, that's one of the things that worries me is because I have liver disease. Is um, taking anything that might affect it, too. So I'm just going to try to bring it down on my own. Uh, it's amazing and it's cheaper than fad diets. Tammy, what? Oh, you're talking about the fasting? Was that what you were talking about, Tammy? Let me scroll back. Yeah, okay. I've always been able to drop a few pounds and bring my A1C down on my own. Um, but then I'll get sick or something and it's like I got a one track mind. I can't keep with my diet and be sick. Because I don't feel like fixing the foods that I need to be eating and I'll just eat whatever's around. Because hey, I don't feel good. I'm sick. I got the flu, whatever. Um, and so... That's how I mess up every time and get my A1C back up, Mom. It's, something will happen. I'll get sick, don't feel well, bam. Just eating whatever because I don't feel like fixing food for myself and I mess it all up. Sister, I've already cooked it. It's in the oven. I did um, enchiladas tonight. Yeah, I love chocolate too. Yeah, Jean, that's, that's what I want to do. Is just, I mean, giving up bread ain't no big deal. It's not one of the things that I can't live without. So, giving that up and the little snack pies and cookies. and I can give all that up. That ain't no problem. I mean, to have one once in a while is okay. And when I do, just making sure I do it in moderation. Because I'm the type of person that I like sweets and I could just sit and two or three times a day with a bowl of ice cream. I ain't gonna lie. I love some ice cream. I'd be guilty of, of having me two bowls in one day. I just gotta watch that and cut that out. But like I said, it ain't no big deal cutting the sweets out because as much as I love them I can give them up anything you know that keeps me from having to take more medication I already take a, a blood pressure pill so I don't I don't like taking medications but I did think about the, the Manjuro or the Ozempic but the more I checked into it the Y'all know the doctor for my 600 pound life? I don't know what his name is. But he was on TikTok and he was telling people who are doing that for diet to be very careful with it and if at all possible do it on your own because they still don't know what the long term um, side effects and all are going to be from people doing the Ozempic and Manjuro and all for the diets. And like, he's the doctor that does the, um, um, gastric sleeves and all on, on TV, if y'all have ever seen him. 
Yeah, and that's another thing. I don't have a gallbladder, so I'm scared of it throwing me into pancreatitis, too. Yes, Dr. Now. That's who I'm talking about, Donna. He was he was on TikTok telling people, be careful of those using those shots for a diet because they really don't know what uh, all the side effects are yet, what long-term side effects could be. I was thinking it had been out for, uh, Ozempic and I had been out for quite some time for people who are diabetic, but I guess it's within the past few years and all, so they really probably don't know about it either. Yeah, Cindy, all that's kind of scary to me, too. Y'all know my doctor had me on that um, Zantac for probably a year or two for uh, my heartburn and um, GERD and all. And that's scary because uh, Zantac was causing cancer in people. Not Sandra, we're live. So, because I took Zantac, I mean, so far I've been okay. But because I took Zantac, I'm, I don't want to take no medications that they don't really know all the side effects to. Any craft tonight? I don't know yet, Sharon. I really don't know yet. It's been really hot in Georgia, and I haven't been out to my building to dig anything out. That's what I'm doing, Becky. I'm, I'm trying to bring it all down naturally. Okay, y'all, I'm going to hop off here. When these things get done, I'll do a reel. But uh, I'm going to hop off and let my grandson come make his burrito. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Bye, y'all.